Across the country, Americans are coming together this Memorial Day to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. In Oregon, things are no different. We sure thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Matt Templeman. KZI 9 News reporter Mike Cerullo stopped by Veterans Memorial Plaza in Springfield this morning for a very special ceremony not long after a tragic incident. If you don't remember the history that you spent and the cost of it, then you're probably going to end up doing it again and again and again like we've been doing. For Frank Blair, Memorial Day is a day to reflect about not only those who were killed in action, but also those who came back and brought the war with them. He joined more than 100 people Monday, including Springfield's mayor, at Veterans Memorial Plaza. Just take a deep breath and remember how important the role of role of the veteran and the role of um, servicemen that died in combat means to this country is really critical. Many at today's ceremony tell me they're observing the holiday by enjoying the freedoms that so many gave their lives fighting for. And that includes something as simple as spending time with their families. Uh, I'm one of those veterans thinks you just go ahead and enjoy the day Yeah, at some point. But at some point, you know, maybe you know, just set aside time of thought. A day made even more special by the return of a historic artifact that was damaged in a car crash nearly three months ago. The can being put back in its place is a time of healing for us. Police say the 75 millimeter pack howitzer was struck by a drunk driver in early March. Its axle broke off and the pintle was bent. But over the past few months, the community got to work. The city, you know, uh, particularly Ryan, Cole over the city, took care of it, straightened it all out, autographed, repainted it for us. The cannon has been around for as long as anyone at the ceremony could remember. And now it rests in Veterans Memorial Park for a new generation. It's now part of the cannon story. Reporting in Springfield, Mike Cerullo, KZI 9 News.